How to transfer money Sparkasse Online Banking Hello guys and welcome to this video. In this tutorial I will show you how to transfer money using the Sparkasse Online Banking. In order to do so we first of all need to open up the Sparkasse app. Alternatively you can also use a Sparkasse website to transfer money. In order to do so you first of all need to go to your specific Sparkasse website. For example I'm a customer of the Kreisparkasse Köln which means that I would have to go to the website of the Kreisparkasse Köln, log into my bank account there and then I could also transfer money using the online banking on the Kreisparkasse Köln's website. However in this video I will show you how to transfer money using the Sparkasse app. So as I said just open the Sparkasse app, select your bank account right here and then we have the option send money in this list at the top. So just go ahead and select the first option send money and then we have basically four different options either a normal transfer, SEPA, reference transfer, standing order or a foreign bank transfer. If you just want to transfer money to another bank account then you have to select the first option and that is also what we are going to focus on in this video. So just go ahead and select transfer right here. Now we need to enter the recipient's information which means that we can either enter the IBAN or if we have already transferred money to the exact same bank account previously Previously, we can also simply search for a name. So just go ahead and enter either the IBAN or if we just search for a name, we can see a list of our last recipients with the same name basically. And here we can also select our recipient. Now we can enter the amount we want to transfer. I just go ahead and transfer one euro. Underneath we can also check our estimated account balance. And if we wish to, we can also add a memo. But as you can see, this is optional. I just go ahead and say this is a test. Then we need to click next right here. Now we can also select a time, either next possible at a later date. If we choose this option, we can set a date where the money is supposed to be transferred to the other bank account. However, otherwise we also have the option as a real time time transfer normally I would suggest to use next possible and then we just need to click verify transfer as you can see here we can check if everything's correct and so on and then we just need to click next again then we just need to verify this transfer with the Sparkasse Pushtan app and as you can see as we switch back to the Sparkasse app the request was completed successfully so now we can either check our overview or add an additional transaction Otherwise, we can simply close this menu using the X in the top right hand corner. And as you can see, this transfer automatically pops up in the list of my recent transactions. So if this video could help you, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any further questions, just let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and bye.